And the one who won't help us to find the person. So we're going to be short story reading. The shrike is fair writing. Because we may want to discuss the story. Up to the back in the shrike. Fair writing was born as Frank in Bolton Shaw, September 26, 1931. He was born as Frank. Sadly passed away. Okay. Do not. Do not. It's a very well known British novelist, playwright, and television and radio script writer. These are stories which revolve around the prison. Belgium grew up in New Zealand, went to St. Andrews University, started to gain an advertising writer. In the mid-1960s, she began writing food. Her first novel was The Five Minutes Show, which was published in the U.S. in the year 1990. Over the course of its 55 years writing career, she published 31 novels. The novel's Down Among the Women, which was published in 1971, Friends and Focus, Various on Reaction, to male and female relationships. Her other works include Praxis, of War, The Life, Loves of a She Devil, Let the Sequel, Death of a She Devil. Uh, among her later works are The Blessing's Child, The Cloning of Joanna, Darcy's Utopia, Growing Witch, and Affliction. She was a self declared feminist. Her work features what she described as overweight plain women. She herself was an overweight woman. That is why she has kept it as a subject of the of her work. She said that there were many reasons why she became a feminist, including the appalling lack of equal opportunities, as well as the myth that women were supported by women's Coming to the short story weekend, it was originally published in the month of Later on, it was published by the Penguin Publishers. Modern to the short stories. The short stories. We can pass on some middle class money from London, where three children are there. They all went to school. The end of the story deals with one particular weekend. There are suggestions that it could be on a weekend. What we are shown is a glimpse into the ordinary ritual. Oh. It appears that the family spent. Uh, the family spends virtually every weekend at the cottage, and this has been the way with them, with the family. So he examines the relationship between husband and martyr, and between their friends, as well as takes a tongue and cheek glance at what properly brought children are expected to be involved in. The characters of this story. Martha, who is the center figure of the story, and it is her point of view which is expressed mostly here. She is a 38 year old woman who is married to a man, Martha, with whom she has three children. She works as a market researcher in the Kaiser Agency. Martin is not his husband, as freelance designer. He is mostly presented through Martha's point of view. The kids are Jolion, Jenny, and Jasper, all in their teenagers. Colin happens to be Martin's friend, and Katie is his young wife. We have reference of the character called Janet, who happens to be Colin's ex-wife. Even though she is not uh, present in the narrative, we have the references wherein she plays an active part in the storyline. Apart from these characters, we have minor characters such as Harry and Beryl Elder. Now the couple who are friends with now, speaking about the plot of the story, it's already stated it starts with Martha, her husband Martin, as well as the three children who are planning to go spend the weekend in their country cottage. Martha prepares everything for the trip as she does every Friday evening. Martin, the one who's driving Martha's car, constantly complains about the car the way. The children find it funny, but Martha takes it very personally. She cannot complain because Martin would tell her to have paranoid. 
Father thinks that she should be happy with her life. On the way, she drowses off, but her mind is constantly filled with her chores. She thinks about Martin's ideal type of just something she struggles to be. She thinks about Martin's pregnancy, whom she suspects he finds attractive. So at the cottage, he is the one who starts unpacking everything. She is the one who tidies the place and makes dinner while the children play and tired as being tired. In bed, she thinks about the next days when they have to have several guests. She thinks about Cody and Katie and uh, how his wife Janet and their two children. They were separated just because of Katie, who's a younger woman. The past midnight, Colin and Katie also arrive at the cottage. Katie appears to be an independent and beautiful lady who is free to live her life as she wants without any constraint. Martha admires Katie and gets a bit dreamy each time she thinks of her lifestyle. So love Martha. That's true. Be her way. And um, talking about Colin's previous wife, Janet, where she finds like she had much in common with Martin. But eventually she is replaced with someone much younger and beautiful as Katie. Once Colin begins rich. And Martha is not at all you know, like Katie, she is completely opposite to Katie. The way she handles her husband just demonstrates the amount of Katie exercises over her man. Hata could never do that. She is subdued. And we have certain examples when Katie discovers that Colin carries a picture of Janet and the kids in his wallet. She creates an uproar over it. And ultimately, Colin had to burn the picture in order to satisfy Katie. Hata could never do that. Like she cannot just put her will forward in front of her husband as Katie was doing so easily. Martha is not satisfied with what she has become and she easily detects the way people look down including Katie. She suspects that it is because of her mother and the disturbed childhood she has become a person. The story comes from when Jen, their daughter, was a persuaded. The moment was extremely painful for Martha. She said, What did you do with us hers? She broke down, could not stop the pain. In reality, she feels that Jane is becoming a woman who will eventually be the victim of the same gender bias and quality as experienced. And the title of the short story is very iron. He can gently indicate the time setting. As weekends are usually associated with free time, fishing. But here we see something uh, different, like something uh, troublesome. Like, even though the title in the beginning of the story makes reader believe that the event will be about a relaxing family time, but it doesn't happen like that, especially for Mark. We find her constantly worried about uh, arranging the stuff for it. Uh, putting the dishes as well as you know, the other kids along with satisfying her husband. So there are so many things in her mind. We don't find her, you know, sitting idly or sitting uh, relaxed for a single moment there. Constantly she is working, she is overworked actually. The way the story starts, we can only two hours drive down to the cottage and try to even three hours drive back and find the pleasures of being a young person with the condoms of Koshima. Of what you it doesn't appear to be you know, uh, as uh, it doesn't appear to be uh, as filled with pleasure as it claims here in the beginning of the narrative. Now, uh, the theme of the story, the theme of this particular short story would be sexism as well as. The gender roles. But, uh, a prominent talk about the family life. So, the story mostly focuses on the social representation of women in the 1970s, where expected to be perfect wives, mothers, friends, and friends, or sons. And the theme of the family life, so, like, it focuses on the relationship with children. So sarcasm and I also compete in important because the expectations that are 
используешь для него просто пейзажи. Thank you.